Hey guys, welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 video. So this is the Swampland uh, T4. Uh, all the tiers are going to be a different time of how long you will get in order for you to complete these Wisp Cleft over here. Three. You're going to need three on the map. As you see uh, on your map, there's going to be three spots. I am going to use an old clip that I had before because this has not changed throughout. But I will re-record uh, the next part. So see you after that. So I'm going to draw on this mini map for a second. So when you have cogs that are over here, over here, or over here, the best pathway to take is going through this way. So you take these two, you come through this way, you come down, and then you take this one. There's supposed to be one right here. You take it, and well, it's right here, and then you take it and you go through this way and you get all three for these three. If there are three wisp over here, that's how you get it. You just go through this way because there are going to be blockades and a lot of um, wires, so you want to take the safest route and the most consistent route. So since there will be a blockway right here, once you take one of these wisps, sometimes, then uh, you always want to have some sort of a backup measure where you can just automatically know that that pathway is going to be good. I will show you how this will work uh, and uh, yeah, we will take it from there. So now I'm going to show you how to get this top corner over here. So basically you just run through over here and step on this cliff over here. Be careful there are a lot of trip wires so you want to keep jumping around so that you can jump over them. And then all you have to do is just run through here and over here. There's going to be a lot of blockades but the, this is the path that will get you to where you need to be even if there are blockades everywhere that you don't expect. So this is always going to be consistent and you will be able to finish. So so then the next right side, so we already know how to get these three over here. Uh, then we need to know how to get these three. So the one that is furthest away, like right here, basically what you do is just walk it over and jump over a little cliff and then go into the middle and jump over another cliff and you'll be able to make it. For these two, is, this one is the same thing. You jump, you only need to jump over one cliff. So you go into the middle, jump over that cliff and take it. This one, you can just walk it through there will be no pathway blocking this part. So now I'm going to show you how to get it on this top right corner. We're going to grab this and then we're just going to walk and be careful of the trip wires. We have to jump over them. Be careful of the red circles. They will immobilize you. So you just jump over that cliff over here. There we got through one of them. And then we're going to go through another one. There will be, there could be an open spot in the middle somewhere. You can run through it, but this is the more consistent way since this blockade over here could come up. So we're just going to take this route and jump over this part and then we are able to get it. Okay, now after we got through the whiz, sorry about that, um, about the mic and all that quality stuff on the last video, I mean last portion, because that was an old clip I did a long, long time ago, uh, but none of that changed. So hopefully you found that tip helpful. And right now we are going to kill this moss man over here. Uh, so just burst them down. And wolves will pair and you just cleave them down. Nothing to it right here. Just try to break his break bar whenever he has it up. The break bar is green and you just use your CC skills to break it. And then we're going to run through here. And then you see a firefly. It's going to hit this little thing to tell you that you're going to have to kill all of these things when there is a wisp cleft that is up. So I'll show you that in a second. You want to grab your mistlock sanctuary and then you come over here, you grab, so you grab the light bulb over there, you put it into this and then it will form this green barrier here. Not barrier, but like this thing. And then this guy will jump. You want to CC him as quick as possible after he jumps and then you just DPS him down. Normally, if your DPS is good, you should face him in this area right here. So, in order for him to be vulnerable to attack, he needs to be in this green circle. This green circle will rotate clockwise, and uh, you're going to have to jump through the next one. So right now, see, this one spawns, and all of these uh, enemies over here is all red. They have to be standing inside the barrier in order for you to be able to attack them. If they don't, then they're invulnerable, and you won't be able to attack them. So make sure you have those in here and all you have to do is just kill them down you see on your top right corner over here you're defeating creatures over here if you the amount of creatures you defeat will uh basically make this guy vulnerable again so just keep killing things kill things as fast as possible before it was a timer but right now it's all about killing as many things as you can before you, so that you can uh, attack bloom hunger again so as we get close to finishing up, remember top right corner, creature is killed. If you get a 100%, then he will be vulnerable again, and then we'll attack him again, and everything is going to work out the same way.
Okay, so it's done. Now he's vulnerable again. Remember, every 25% of his health down, he will go into that state where you have to kill creatures again. So we're going to try to keep attacking him. So right now he's vulnerable, so we can still attack him. See, right here? There's a spirit ward thing, and when he has that activated, that little blue thing at first you saw very uh, quick, you won't be able to attack him. But then uh, once he's in this barrier, you will be able to attack him. Again, if he so if he smashes like that, you want to you know CC him as fast as possible, but he's outside of the ring. So you have a few seconds to still damage him, but then he will spawn this spirit ward, which in the, uh, immune to condition and damage. So he has to be in this ring in order for you to kill him again. Yep, there he is. See, he's vulnerable again. So all you have to do is kill him. If your group is not experienced enough or doesn't have enough DPS, you might want to get rid of the champions that spawn around because they are annoying. They can knock you down. Make sure you have some stability and breaking stun. And then just keep rotating and uh, draw these enemies back in. See, as you see, 50% health. The uh, creatures will spawn again and then you need to attack them again. So bear in mind that there's going to be blossom, poison blossoms that will spawn as well. Uh, you don't have to kill them, but they're annoying because they will poison you. Uh, just kill them about along the way if it's, it's, it's if it's in your way, but don't focus your time attacking those things because uh, normally you'll probably just cleave them down. So main focus is just kill all these creatures as fast as possible. And uh, yeah, okay, after 50% health, he becomes vulnerable again. See, a champion has spawned. Uh, we're not really focused on it, but since he's in the way, might as well just kill him at the time being. Now we have to move over to the next clockwise position. See these blossom here? They're annoying, but uh, they're not going to do too much to you. So just kill them along the way. The drawbacks of an uncoordinated group is that you don't know uh, when to attack at a certain, certain time and stuff like that, and you don't know when to CC. So after this, when he has 25% health, there's going to be four wisps on your screen spawned. You need to get one in each corner, and you want to put them in the wisps cleft. You have to separate into four people. And you guys uh, go to each corner and then you guys are going to take it and then put it into these cliff. And then if you run out of time, then everyone will wipe. So make sure you do it very quickly. And by the time he hits 25%, you want to be already going on your way to their cleft. If you guys are uncoordinated, just make sure to assign each people to each corner or which corner, whichever corner they want to take. And then uh, go for it. Go from there. And then just destroy him after that. He will become vulnerable.